Denise, we got a few more people down here. Is that okay? Hi, Denise. It's Cindy from Escape Zone. I'm Charlie Ross's daughter. Be nice to talk to you if you let us know you're here. If you're upstairs, can you come down here? I want to hear that loud ass bang again. I'm telling you, it sounded like somebody was moving furniture upstairs. Denise, we're right here. Would you like to talk to us? What the hell was that? Steps. Denise, you can come out and talk to us. We got alarm here too, Denise, if you want. And then I got the ghost tube here if you want to talk. I know you really like talking to Rocky more. Denise, did you grow up around here? Who tapped me on the head when I was down here? Be careful. Be careful. Thank you for coming back over here. Can you come back over by me? Denise, walk up here in front of me. And you can talk through this. Remember how to do that? What did say? You did it earlier. Can you do it again? I really enjoy talking to you. Choked. Choked. Did you get choked? 16. 16. Wow. Are you 16 years old? Are you upstairs still? Are you going down here finally? Yeah. Somebody just walk up beside me. My arm got cold. Sure did, right over there. If you're the one banging upstairs, can you do that super loud for us, please? Is this yours? Did yeah, this phone is. That's what you're talking about. Whoever did the loud bang, can you do that again for us? Gregory. It was like 10 times louder last time. Can you do that? What happened? I set an alarm off. I need you to do that for me, please. It's right here. Here. Yeah. Do that super loud for us, please. <gasps> this is Rocky. Where? This thing said Rocky. Yeah. You want to talk to Rocky? What would that be walking like? You know, it sounds like uh, like old hard shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a cane. Josh. Like. Oh, right there, right there, right here. Come over here, hurry. Shh, it's right here. Stand right here. Sean, right here. Stop, stop for one second. Stop moving.
Can you shut that door, please? Oh my God. Can you trap us down here? Come down here. Let's get closer to it. What's back here? Stop right here. I think it's like literally. You guys come back here for real quick. You're okay. I feel like it's right here. Okay, so right now we're down in the basement and we're getting the same shit that we got earlier. We heard the walking, the loud banging. Can you hit like that, please? Can you move a piece of furniture? If you're upstairs, I'm going to knock. Can you knock back to me, please? Can we hear you again, please? Leave this plastic if you're down here with us. Sorry if we scared you. That was literally something walking, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. You think like boots or uh... Time. I kind of felt like it was a rocking chair, the way it was making the noise, but then it then it, it moved. Yeah, down. it was moving. Yeah, it was moving across over here. So. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay. Well, at least you guys got to experience that. This house was built in 1895. Family by the name of Fred and Marie Getros bought this house. They raised chinchillas here. They raised them and skinned them for their furs. And there was a sign that hung out here for years that said, chinchilla fur for sale. Fred passed away when he was, I believe, in his 60s. And Marie, his wife, passed away in 1975. And at that time, my dad purchased the house. My dad would mention every once in a while about uh, there's a spirit of an old woman upstairs. And as time goes on, it gets worse. We got to the stairs by the door. There's a damn face. A face. A complete big face of a man with dirty hair. I mean, we ran so fast. I mean, and it, there was no body. That happens. And Sharon said, I'd never come back in here again. I thought there was a crowd of people behind me and it just kept feeling worse and worse and worse to where I thought they were starting to surround me. I got so scared, I, I left. I called them, I said, I gotta, I gotta go. I, I can't be here anymore. I got in my car, I was driving home. I thought I had somebody in the passenger seat. I get home, turned the TV off, TV came back on. I turned that TV off again. Went back to my bedroom, got in, got in bed. That TV came back on again. It kept doing it. Something followed me home from here. It just wasn't a good feeling when you walked in here because there was always something going on and negative energy, some real negative energy. There has been times when I had goosebumps all over me. I heard, I looked back, the door opened up all the way. I could not even stand up. I got so spooked by that. 
I need somebody to come in here and tell me what the heck's going on here because if you can come up here and tell me what is happening in this building, we need to stay open for business and I can't have people being scared to be here at night because that's when our business is. There is something evil here. There is. Devil has come up with my name. They said the devil and my name together. There's something evil here. Fred died, passed away here. After that's when we ended up buying the house. You wait till you get upstairs. We've had a lady refuse to go in certain rooms upstairs, saying it's there's evil in the house. I've been in that basement before and I knew I got a weird feeling in that basement. I really believe that the spirits go back and forth between the houses because I hear walking all the time. There's a sign that hangs upstairs, okay, and it hangs by chains. The thing was levitating. I could tell you by the way I feel this house is off the chain tonight. Good luck. This is where I'd hear a lot of footsteps and actually Brendan did also. I saw a small spirit pass through here, just go right back there. It looked to be about that tall. And that door opened up all the way. And that's where I told you I was so scared I couldn't get up because I knew my legs wouldn't work. I saw a face right there, and that's when my sister was here. We ran, we ran, but we didn't see a body, just a face. He brought a woman in here, and she took two steps in here, and she got so upset, and she says, I can't go in the room. And Rick said, why? She goes, because there's evil in this room. But that was the woman who started crying, and she booked her ass right back out. She came over to this wall, and she put her hand on that wall and she says, Cindy, she says, uh, this is a portal and there's evil attached to this. She says, you need to rip up all the wallpaper off of this. She said, and do blessings. She said, whatever to get rid of what's here. She said, there's a lot right here. And other people have said that there's something over here. He sat here and had a, a conversation with a little girl and she just carried on and on and on. You'll hear a lot of knocking in this room. The knocking and the bangings were constant. And it wasn't me. It was just knocking and banging. That's where Fred uh, skinned the chinchillas. They raised them, had them in cages or in this room. And he, this is where he killed them and skinned them. This is our Western saloon room. I can remember when I was in here putting this room together, I'd hear little things, never thought too much of it. And I knew this one young lady uh, by the name of Allie May, and I asked her if she'd come and help me, okay? And I had no idea that Allie May does investigations. She actually told me that uh, she felt many things when she was helping me that day, but didn't want to tell me because she didn't know how I felt about stuff like that. It was down here that um, they caught the girl and, her, and she moved when they asked her to go for the REM pod. It come across saying that there's bodies below here, but back through here, it's, it's very bad back through here. It's in here. It's that new alarm that tells you the distance. Are you back there? Basically, you had to walk in front of it because that thing's up in the air. Yeah. That's so weird how I was just setting up a camera and I was thinking about where we was going to start and I was like, I kind of want to go back here where it all started for us, you know? Yeah, that's where I was wanting to go too. Whatever you was doing up here when we was down in the basement, can you make that noise for me? Did you hear? Yeah. You know what's crazy in this room? You got the wood floor and look at all these mirrors. You know how people believe mirrors are portals? Yeah. You heard it again? Yeah. Is this the floor you was walking on? Can you set that alarm off again? You following us?
Well, it shouldn't have set that alarm off. Are you following me? I think it's following us wherever we go. There's knocking. Something just moved back here. I can't see, I can't run. Holy shit. Something moved down here. Oh! Oh, something's out there! Something's out there! Yeah, come on. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was fucking loud. Something moved out here. Hello? It was the same freaking, it sounded like something freaking, like a chair or something drug. They said that they see a man's face up here. Can you come out and talk to me please? I know that you've had other investigators in here. We were next door talking to your friend spirits. I'm up here all by myself on the second floor. Why are you scaring the people that come here? You don't scare us. I'm going to set my alarm over here. This hallway right out here in front of me is where she had most of her experiences. I command you to show yourself. You only show yourself to women. They say that you slam doors. You move things. Keep firm. It's like I hear walking. Now right down this hallway, there's another door and that leads into the uh, antique furniture store that we were investigating earlier. And they believe that the spirits may come back and forth between the two buildings. Okay, we're upstairs. This is where Josh heard a woman's voice. What that happened to me? You died. I just don't know how you died. Bedroom. Bedroom. We came a long way to talk to you. And if you don't come out and talk to me, I'm going to be very, very sad. You don't want me to be sad, do you? Somebody in town said that you have chinchilla fur. I came here to buy some. I want you to give me a good deal on the fur. I don't want you to rip me off. Maybe I can trade you something that we have in our bags. We can barter. 
you give me some fur, I'll give you some AA batteries. Stop recording. Oh, no, no way. way. Yeah, we're not going to stop recording. We just want to talk to you. We're going to document you so that way everybody understands why you're here. Is that okay? Tell me it stopped. Please. It said please. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, hurt. Well, it said stop recording, but it just said please. Okay, come in here and let's sit down. Let's have a beer. I poured you a glass right here. Sit down, have a beer. Discuss what we're going to trade for this chinchilla fur. Unless you're the kid, then you can't drink. I believe one of these rooms up here, they've seen a woman. Who's the woman that's inside this house? If you're not going to talk to us, we're going to leave. And you're going to be out of a lot of money. What is your name? How old are you? Do you remember what happened to you? Who keeps walking? You got a message for us? Why do we want to get everybody out of here? Do you go over to the other building? I hope I guess this ghost does not like to drink. Your last chance. You want a drink or not? We'll say one thing, it's definitely freaking creepy up here. We're at the Escape Zone, Ohio, and this seems to be one of the darker of the two buildings. They've all had a lot of experiences in here. There was a gentleman who died in this building, or this house, and they hear children here, and they see like a woman upstairs. My name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We are guests in your house tonight, and we just want to talk to you. Can you see us or hear us? They said that you'd like to set the REM pods off upstairs. We've got one up there if you could set that off for us. I know a lot of the people don't like to be upstairs. Kathy said that she sees you and hears you. I like something being drugged across yeah, the floor. You hear that? Upstairs. I too, yeah. This is Cabin in the Woods. Did we hear you up here? Holy tits. I think what's up? My battery just went freaking dead. You like having people come inside your house?
There's a knock. Where are you at right now? Are you out here? We heard that you passed away inside this house. Are you the person that's haunting this house? Did you just hear that alarm downstairs? Mm-hmm. I got one sitting on the casket. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you setting our alarm off downstairs? Just walking. Yeah, I heard. A lot of people are afraid because you scare them. And we want you to come out here and talk to us. Let me see that camera, Sean. Hello? I just heard you. That voice was like, that voice was like freaking plain as day. Well, it was freaking loud too. You try and tell us something? Freak you out, holy shit. You like what they've done to the house? What do you think about all the people that come in here? I'd like to hear you again. got alarm there behind Josh. Can you set that off? Yeah, Josh, stand out here in this hallway. Like I was. If you're out there in the hallway, can you do something? Let us know that you're here. Did you just hear that? Mm-hmm. What was it? It sounded like, like a knock or something. Walking. Are you downstairs? If you're downstairs, set my alarm off again. You hear that? Yeah. Let's go back downstairs. Sounds like most of the stuff's coming from downstairs. Hey, we're gonna watch try something. Let's go shut and giggles. I know we was just over there on the other side of this door. I'm gonna knock three times. If you're over there, knock back, okay? I got a device here. You can talk to me. You got to come up to me though, okay? Can you tell me what your name Pizza. is? Pizza. Pizza is good. You can tell me whatever you want on this device. Are you a man? My name's Sean, this is Joe. I said no. What the hell was that behind you? Was it in this room? So I said no and then heard that. 
Well, it feels like footsteps are warm. What do you say no about? You don't want to talk to me? I'm trying. Where? Right here where this light is. Right over here by my hands. You can touch me. Let me know you're here. You can touch any of us. I really Megan. like Megan. Amazing. Who's Megan? So do you think Megan's amazing or are you trying to say that you're amazing? Adam. Watch. Okay, I'm gonna watch you do it. Go do it for me. Library. My name is Josh. Can you tell me your name, please? Can you see us? He said that there's a child inside this house. With this equipment, it's possible we can hear you. Can you come out and talk to us, please? This is one creepy ass basement. I I heard something stop. Are you down here? Who's down here with us? Tell us your name, please. Okay, I can't set it off that fast. Holy shit. Did you guys hear that? No. That was a freaking loud ass bang upstairs. Are you upstairs right now? I saw like something scooting or something. Yeah. Do you mind having us inside your house? Is right here off the left on the side. Tell me you heard that. Mm -hmm. They said that you used to kill chinchillas here in Southern Skin. Do you miss doing that? Are you thinking about killing us? Did you live here? Something moaning. Moaning? Yeah, moaning. I don't think you're a bad person. There's a lot of people that come in and out of here and you don't try to scare them. Did you live here at one time? Was you upstairs or on this floor making noise while we was down in the basement? I heard people talking. Who was it? 
Do something really loud so I know you're here. It's kind of crazy because it's almost like you can hear her voice off and on. Did you work here? Something like plastic or something moving. That was creepy. Your voices. Why do I keep hearing plastic? I don't like that. This room is creepy as hell. Do you want to let me know if you're here or not? I got alarm out in the hallway if you set it off. I swear I just heard a woman. Is there a woman up here? Can you knock once, one time for yes, and two times for no? Did you live in this house? Is there a portal? Are you attached to somebody that comes here? I think when I get scared, I talk more. I will tell you what, what's creepy about this room is there's a long hallway. So, if I did want to leave fast, I'm not really sure. I mean, I kind of know where it is, but I'm sure it would take me a minute. Would you like to talk to me? If you want to talk to me, can you say, Sean? trying. Is it hard for you to talk to people? Would you rather talk to Rocky? You can say Rocky. No. <laughs> no. Holy crap. Would you rather talk to Josh? Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. Talk cry to baby. Why am I being cry baby? What, now you wanna talk to me? I told you to talk to me and I would stay up here. You don't have to be mean. I didn't do anything to you. I told you, you was really nice. Hey, I brought Josh up here. I didn't bring Rocky. So I came back in here because I want to find out why you called me a crybaby. Was that for leaving? So I thought I was pretty brave for coming up here and sitting with in this room. Because that is a long hallway, like I said, to get out of here fast. This room is the creepiest, I think. You like having Josh up here? And you gotta think over there, that's a shit ton of antiques. Yeah. What the hell was that? Knocking. Did you just hear that? What are you doing? Can you shut one of the doors? You can lock me and Josh in here. Do you not like having both of us in here? Now you won't talk to me. Did you like it better when I was in here by myself? He was answering my questions. I want to. What do I do? I don't know. I think you should come in here and talk to me. We know just because you've died that it's not like you're done forever that you can still talk to us. Can you guys see us on the other side? Can you tell us what happens when you die? Martha. Martha. 
Were you the wife that lived inside this house? Stressed. You know, we get spirits say that they're stressed quite a bit. Yeah. It can't be stressful on the other side. Do you miss being alive? Okay, I'm gonna go out of here. No thanks. No thanks. Okay, it's just me and you in here right now, Martha. You like having me in here by yourself? And we're trying to figure out what you guys can do and what you guys can't do. I believe you guys can do more than what people think. Oh yeah, I do too. I believe the veil between life and death what is... Happened? We don't know, but you keep asking a lot of questions. We're trying to figure out what happened to you. It's been a long day and a long night. And we get a long drive. Okay, we're going to pack stuff up and we're going to leave. Can you say goodbye to us? We appreciate you letting us come inside your house. If this was your house. And if there's anything that's bad here or evil Where are here. You? I'm sitting on the couch. If there's anything bad or evil here. You should probably leave the women alone bedroom. that work here. Oh, bedroom. Yes, we are in a bedroom. Yeah. Are you starting to talk more because you don't want us to leave? We're going to leave. And you may never see us again. Are you warming up to Josh? Brother. Brother. Yeah. You know that we're brothers? And I'm just wondering if the antiques, just all that energy over there, you just have so much over there compared to here. Mm -hmm. All righty, we're, we're out of here. Thanks for talking to us. But like Josh said, respect the women in here, okay? Let them do their job. So you both can live at peace. Can you do that? Nobody likes a bad ghost.